APS-C over full frame for YouTube? Let's talk about it. Why would you choose APS-C over full frame for vlogging and YouTube content? Because like, full frame is this dream come true for everyone the shallow depth of field delicious bokeh and everything very good low light and all that good stuff but there is just this one thing more than one thing there are a few things APS-C sensor cameras are cheaper that's the first thing for example i'm currently capturing this on canon 200d you can get it new for about 350 dollars euros or 350 monies you can get this camera new it's cheap and it does its thing it has full hd 25 24 50 fps and it has good autofocus like it see it does its thing so it's cheap it does its thing and APS-C cameras tend to be a lot smaller than full-frame cameras. Full-frame cameras have bigger sensors which means the whole camera has to be bigger because the sensor is bigger and uh, because of that you have a smaller camera that you can carry around much easier. Much easily. Way smaller camera that is way more pocketable than your big 5D, 1DX cameras, whatever. Those are big cameras that take a lot of space and they are a lot heavier as well. The APS-C sensor cameras are smaller and a lot less heavier. And one more great thing about them is that the lenses are smaller and cheaper as well. So you can save a lot of money by just choosing a smaller sensor. It doesn't make sense to invest a lot of money in huge sensors and crazy expensive lenses just to keep up with the standards. It's uh, it's pointless. So for me, APS-C is way to go. There are many different EFS mount lenses that are amazing, like this 24 millimeter f 2.8, as well as this lens I'm shooting currently on. It's the 10 to 18 millimeter f 4.5 to 5.6 and they all are cheap. So I got this one for about, what was it? I would, it was about 80 euros. And I got this used, but it was really lightly used. So it's almost perfect, no problems with this one. Um, this 15 millimeter lens, it's not, uh, it's not an APS-C lens, but this lens is a lens that everyone has to have. It's the Nifty 50. If you're starting out the caption photos, videos, this is like your, your go-to B-roll uh, detail shot lens. Why this is great? It's because this lens actually has the same uh, compression as your eyes do. So the 50 millimeter just produces the most natural looking compression and uh, that is why this is a must-have lens. And that is why I think APS-C is way better than full frame for traveling uh, for vlogs for YouTube because well the camera itself is cheaper the lenses are cheaper the lenses and camera are smaller and way lighter as well and the quality it produces is more than enough for your YouTube content so you just have to choose wisely what kind of lenses you're getting don't stick with the kit lens people tend to throw them out don't do that keep it it's it's okay it, it might be useful someday, but go for prime lenses like these 24 f 2.8 or 50 f 1.8 or this 10 to 18. That is not a prime lens, but still, this is a must have lens for an APS C Canon camera. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, maybe consider subscribing. And uh, if you have some thoughts about this, please share them in the comment section. And if you're considering subscribing then uh, click that bell thingy as well because well then you will actually be able to see my videos because i've heard that the youtube algorithm is like very punishing if you click that bell thingy you will be notified when i upload so yeah thank you so much for watching and see you next time